Hey everyone, it's Rose from Snow and back in our dog and the V3 Killing Harmony episode. Last time, we were shown a hidden door in the library, and that gave the detective an idea that somebody could be working with Monokuma. On top of that, we were given a secondary motive. This time, it's a time limit. And if nobody kills within two days, coming up shortly, then everybody would be annihilated. So, with, with that, we cannot let that happen. But we also can't let murders happen, so it's a confusing situation, but hopefully no murders will come of it. So, anyway, let's continue, and let's start today's episode. Alright, so last time Shuichi told us that dust fell on the floor from where the hidden door was, and that could likely prove his theory that a mastermind is walking among us. So... Let's head right back down to the library and see what's up. Because if what he says is true, we're pretty much done for if a mastermind is still working among Monokuma. Hey. Alright, I'll explain everything. First, take a look at this card reader. Ashimichi said that he moved the first bookcase to reveal the hidden door. Yep, that still surprised me every time I see it. I peeked into the gap of the card reader. The dust is gone. That's right, I checked it right after nighttime started yesterday and the dust was there. But this morning, it was gone. I mean, someone entered the store during nighttime. That got me thinking. This may sound far fetched, but perhaps Monokuma's revival is related to the store somehow. How so? Remember what the monocup said? This school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops. Exactly with that machine, you can have as many spare pops as you want. There's a machine that can build spare monokumas? That explains why we saw monokuma alive and well in the morning. At nighttime, someone went to the store and activated the machine. And then there's what monokuma just told us. A time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by nighttime, two days from now, Everybody that every student forced to participate in this killing game will die. He wouldn't say that without a reason to. The way he phrased it seemed peculiar. Why did you say everyone will die? Why not way to specify that those students forced to participate will die? Well, but why? My deduction is that one of us volunteered to participate and wasn't forced. That means they would avoid execution without breaking any rules. That's why Monokuma said it that way. That person or group is one who's cooperating with Monokuma? That's very true, actually. I don't know if Monokuma is that strict with rules, but if he's trying to protect someone, that would imply they're doing more than just cooperating with Monokuma. Huh? What? Because. I believe that if one of us can create spare Monokumas, they're the mastermind of this killing game. So the person responsible for all our suffering is one of us? Of course, this is what I deduce, but it is entirely possible. That's why I didn't want to talk about this in front of everyone. If we told them all now, they all might try to find the mastermind and be led to murder. I'm... That's why I can only tell you, Kaede. Mastermind. The one controlling Monokuma. I can't believe the person responsible for suffering could be among us. It's hard to accept, but if it's true, I can't forgive them. Hey. So what do you plan to do now, Shuichi? We're gonna find this Mastermind, right? I'm, I'm thinking of taking the risk, just before time expires. I believe the Mastermind will come here just before time is up, and I can expose them. Huh? Wait, how do you know they'll come here before time's up? Because of what Monokuma said. I'm, extra I'm extrapolating from something Monokuma told us earlier. Mauled to shreds by countless Monokuma's rumored Monokuma making machine. Hmm. To produce a large number of Monokuma's, Mastermind would have to come here. They have to get into the hidden room to activate the machine. Well. Of course, none of this is certain. There's a chance the Mastermind won't show. Like I said, it's a risk. But I'm willing to take it. It's better than just sitting around waiting to die. Yeah. Right. I'll take that risk with you. But... Uh, for Kaede, this is my deduction. It's possible that I'm wrong. Yeah, I know, but I've made up my mind. You told me about this, that makes me mean you trust me, right, Shuichi? Yeah. Then I'll trust you too. You know? I mean, I don't have a good idea on my own, so obviously I'll help you with yours. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's expose the mastermind together, Shuichi. Thank you. Thank you, Kaede. You have a way of encouraging me. Mm -hmm. Never expected this to happen, though. Can't believe our enemy is within our group, hiding in plain sight. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that we know such stuff, saying everyone needs to work together. Oh, right. But whoever the mastermind is, will expose them and help everyone else escape. When this all is behind us, we're gonna see good friends with a promise, okay? okay? Right. Dude, I love their friendship. It's so wholesome. After we applied the dust to the card reader, I left Shoichi and returned to my room.
is a free sum event, finally. Because it's been a while since we received one of those. Two days from now, the stroke of nighttime, that's when the time limit expires. Till then, I guess I'll go check on the others. I'm a little worried about them. There we go, free time! While well, the academy will have free time every now and then. During free time, you can spend time with other students to strengthen your bond with them. You can also give them presents to strengthen those bonds further. You can buy presents at the school store with them at the Mono Mono machine. If you want to get strong enough, an minute event might occur. Nice. But you, don't, but you don't have free time forever. Spending time with someone passes time. You can also end free time by going straight to your bed. By yourself, that is. I mean, I wouldn't skip it if you had to be alone. That's cool, too. Yeah, I would recommend not skipping free time. But if you want to, that's all up to you. So we're not going to hang out with anyone just yet because we need mono coins. And presents to do that. So let's go back into the school and get those mono coins. Two. I would think the classrooms have that kind of stuff, so... Hmm. No way, the classrooms are back this way. Let me just check something really fast. Yep, we're good so far. Alright. Two. Let's go. Alright, I've been kind of waiting to make this joke since Monokuma got back in the school, but... Hey, Monokuma! I'm destroying school property! What you gonna do about it? Oh, wait. You can't do anything about it. Not without breaking your own rules! Alright, I'm sorry. I really wanted to make that joke ever since Monokuma got back. Anyway, uh, let's go to the school store. I'm not going to pause and cut to the next end of free time just in case those who are having trouble finding the school store. I found it last episode, but if you're those who are having trouble finding it, let me lead you to it. Because I'm nice. <laughs> so, school store. Okay, so I think it's up. Yep. I have like 60 or 64 mono coins. That's awesome. Probably gonna need my phone for this so I can understand which presents to give to which student, you know? All that fun stuff. I'm just gonna enter a lot of my mono coins and see. Like, you know. Honestly, we'll get a lot of them with the class child and stuff coming up. But... Oh, lucky chance! There we go! My inner Makoto is showing. Already almost out, so I might as well use them. So, I am going to grab my phone really quick. Where's my phone? Hang on, just a tick. Alright, so let's say, for instance, I wanted to chill with Tenko. So, we would just find where Tenko is in the school and see if we have any presents that match up to her. If not, we can always just not give her a present. Because my brother gave me a little tip saying, you don't have to give presents to them all the time, you just have to do it when you're like, ready to expand that relationship with them. So you don't have to give them presents all the time. So let's find Tanko, and Tanko's right here, so let's talk to her. I think about the situation is total mystery, but there's one thing I do know. It's definitely responsible for setting up this messed up killing game. I'm not sure, we shouldn't just place all our eggs in one basket just yet. Should I spend time with Tanko? All men are rotten to the core. But I can at least do something about the degeneracy of my Neo Akito. Spend the time climbing down Tenko, who looks ready to beat up the boys. Yeah, don't do that, Tenko. Please. Tenko to be a little closer today. Do you have Tenko present? Definitely. So let's see, do I have anything in, like, uh, something that would... Come on, phone. Flip and unlock already, come on. 
So 2, 9, 23. I have 6. Hmm. What else do I got though? Is 11 on the list here? Nope. 26. Is 26 on the list? Yes, it is. Cool. Just gotta find the number and what they like. What? You're giving this to me? Wow, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Kaede, is everything alright? Are you okay? What are you talking about? Got a problem with any of the genders aren't here. Please tell me. I'll squeeze her. Whoa, okay. Won't that kill them? And why do you see stuff like that? I've never had a problem with boys. You don't have to hide the truth from me. Shuichi is sexually harassing you, aren't isn't he? Shuichi is what now? I see with Shuichi last I assumed he was exploiting a weakness of yours. No no no, I mean we do spend a lot of time together. But he's not forcing me to do anything, it just naturally happens. I see. I guess that's fine. Tenko is a BS detector, he's Tenko's BS detector, she's like, uh uh, I ain't believing that crap. Doesn't look like you think it's fine. We should be careful, okay, Kaede? Mass so many degenerate males always have perverted fantasies running through their heads. Shuichi may be a teenage boy, but I don't think he's that bad. What? How can he be so naive? Wait. Uh, let me get that touch bed back. Besides, Shuichi seems safe. He doesn't seem like he'd fantasize about that stuff. Huh? Listen up. Society has 100% appearances, and they say handsome guys are always up to no good. But if you ask me, unassuming degenerates like Shuichi are the most dangerous of them all. Who knows the sort of sick delusions are in his head? I think he may be pre-justice. No. I'm not pre-justice, I'm telling the truth. She's already made up her mind. Don't you think it's weird for degenerate males to have ultimate talents in the first place? They're basically disgusting mud bills. The degenerates didn't have talents, it's supposed to be an all-girls safe haven. I won't call any place where we're forced to play a killing game a safe haven. But you don't have to worry, because I'm here. My Neo Akita will keep you, Himiko, and the other girls safe unless degenerate snakes. Please rest easy and let me handle things. Uh, okay. I knew Tenko hated boys. So I didn't think she was this bad. I need to be careful on Shuichi. I know. Pass to make the first move. This fine crunching sneak attack. Don't do that. Why not? New Akita, Akita totally allows that. Because it's wrong to be violent for no good reason. It's preemptive self-defense. That's the best reason there is. Yeah, we all need to get along and work together so we can escape. That's true. Normally I never agree to work with a vile, degenerate male, but... Tango, please don't kill anyone, please. We need to escape. That's the main important. That's the most important thing. After Comp go down, I part of ways to return to my room. Glad she wrote me, but her hatred for boys is a little too intense. It still isn't time before it's night time. Should I do? I don't want to just sit and do nothing. Let's find someone else to hang out with. Okay. So let's say I want to hang out with... Alright. Let's, let's do someone like... Let's try Rantara. I think I have stuff that might please them. So, where is my boy Rantaro? Map. Yep, he's in the dormitory. He just walked out of there. So, let's find his room. Sorry, I was just thinking about something. Should I spend time with Rantaro? That's right. Wanna go to the library? I feel like reading. I spent some time in the library reading books of Rantaro. We're gonna try to grow a little closer today. Yup. Let me just bring up the menu again and see what we have. So, 4, 5, 8... What about 27? 25... Nope, let's keep looking. 36. Is 36 on the menu here? Wait, there's still stuff down here. So, 36. Wait, there's still stuff down here. Um, 58. 59, right here. 
I'm gonna be using this guide a lot, so. Yeah. Feels something pretty interesting there. Where'd you find it? Are you giving it to me? A present? <laughs> That's so sweet. You're being so nice to a guy that doesn't even know his own talent. Hey. Kai, do you like to have some tea and chat for a bit? Hmm? And here I am, sitting across from Tower, drinking tea with him. I wonder. Hey. Are you hitting on me? Uh, no, I'm not trying to hit on you. I guess people seem a sleazy guy because the way I look, but I'm not. Besides, would you like to have some tea? What kind of old school pickup line is that? Maybe it's so old school that it's looped around to become cool again. <laughs> Maybe. Although it's true that I want to spend some time with you. Surrounded by strong personalities, I feel I like them, but it's a tad overwhelming at times. A lot of the ultimate students here are pretty unique. I think Shibichi is pretty normal. Now that's true. Yeah, but he's a detective. Could be hiding his real personality, you know. That's true. But he's reliable in tough situations. That's not so bad, is it? True, but the sort of situation where you might need a reliable detective would be... Would be... Nah, it's nothing. By the way, who's the most unique person here in your eyes? Mew, Q, and Kibo. I think Kibo because of the robot thing. Kibo. Being a robot is interesting enough that his personality barely matters. But no, I think Kibo is on her side. What do you mean on her side? Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? Long and short of it, robots can't harm people. Kibo's creator was a good scientist who would have programmed that into a Kibo's AI. We're all humans, so you can assume that he's on her side. Of course. I'm just guessing. You seem pretty composed, Rantaro. Where did that come from? You hear how you observe everyone, make rational judgments about, judgments about their personalities. Yeah, how do I put this? Like I see you've started used to this kind of situation. That's a weird way to put it. There's no way he could be used to any of this. I guess if you don't relax around you, I must feel normal. But don't misunderstand, I mean normal in a good way. Okay, I get it. He is such a chill guy, I swear. I spent some time drinking tea with Rantaro. Alright, it's nighttime already. One day's over. Whoa! This is an official announcement the Ultimate Academy. As you can see, Monica has had a little too much honey. He was really, really happy about Daddy's return. Now let's play darts. Monica can be the dartboard. Let's go bowling. Monica can be the ball. By the way, which announcement were we making? Nighttime announcement. It's already that late, then we should go to bed soon. Yeah. They seem a little bit unreliable. It's already nighttime. This rate time will expire before we know it. But I won't lose. I won't give up. But I want to see everyone's smiles just a little longer. I want to spend time with them laughing and talking like normal teenagers. So I won't give up. That is the attitude to have, Kaede. I'm with you all the way. I'll teach you guys how to win over a lady. First, you gotta give her a present. Ladies can't resist presents. But you can't give her any presents. Gotta be her suited to her case. Hence what we were doing. It's gotta be a handmade present too, so it looks like they put thought into it. For example, the kind of lady is into strong men with love and handmade. For a wrestling group. She be loves surrounded by macho dudes make money off the wrestlers too. And after wrestlers get popular, it'd be good to host a big event. And after they're done beating each other up, they can fight other pro wrestling groups. Just give it a shot, and I'm positive you'll win a heart. What do you know? Dating advice from Monokuma, of all people. That's a shock alone. Whoa, jeez, okay. Is he drunk on honey? Yes. That answer would be yes. Oh, by the way, it's Father's Time that expires at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. As if we didn't need a reminder, but okay. Time that ends tomorrow night. Which is gambling on that, which means I have to watch the library all time is running out. Do we start preparing that? I'm getting worried. What's that? Oh, Shuichi. Perfect timing. It could be anyone, though. Shuichi, I wanted to ask you something. Answer the door. Monokuma! Too bad, it's me. It hurts my heart to be screamed at by a young girl. Well, it did enter un unknowing un suddenly. But then again, he didn't technically enter suddenly because he rang the doorbell. Wait, how does he even reach the doorbell? He's too short. But it hurts so good, all the same. What do you want? I think I'd come let you know that some of the research labs are open. You mean the ultimate research labs? The classrooms tailored to our 16 talents? Uh huh. Your lab is finally all set up so you can go whenever you want. Now go to the ultimate pianist labs ready to compose a murderous melody. A murderous melody? What are you even talking about? Are you gonna invite me inside for tea or what? 
No, of course not. Leave, Mono. Please. Thank you. I slammed the door in Monokuma's face with all my might. You are lucky you didn't hit him at the door. Aww. That was super annoying. Jeez. God, how annoying. Oh, what if it's Shuichi this time? She's enough already. You're bothering me. Ah, oh, sorry, should I come back later? Of course it's Shuichi. Oh, Shuichi, sorry, just ignore what I said. I want to talk to you too, Shuichi. I was wondering if you need anything for the plan. That's what I want to talk to you about. I might know how to keep watch in the library. Were you planning on hiding at the library and keeping watch from there? That would be very risky. If we did that, risk the mastermind running into us. It's safer to watch him further away. You also need hard evidence to conceive everyone of the mastermind's convince. What con con convince everyone of the mastermind's identity? I don't know why I read conceive. That's why I thought it might be good to set up cameras. Cameras? I found some cameras and security sensors in the warehouse. With some modification, we could combine the two. And have cameras that will detect movement and take pictures. Dang, nice call. We set up a few in the library can capture proof of the masterminds. We don't have to be in the library for this to work, so we're less likely to get caught. That's a really good idea, but do you know how to modify a camera? Oh, well, I don't know how. That's why I wanted to ask Mew. The ultimate adventure could help us. Oh yeah, that's very true. But she's pretty intimidating, so I'll have trouble talking to her by myself. In that case, we should ask her together. I saw Mew heading to the dining hall, and I'm sure she thinks she'll still be there. We should be careful what we, about what we tell her. She might be it. She might be it? As in Mew might be the mastermind? I doubt it, but that's what you think. Well, hey, we can't... We gotta... I don't know. Gotta be aware of everybody. That's the words. Aware of everybody. So, the least likely to the most likely. I don't have any theories yet, but... I don't think Mew is capable of something like this. I'm sorry, but she doesn't seem like the person that would be. So, let's talk to Mew. See how well this will go. Mew is sitting down looking like our usual haughty self. Seems like she's alone. Oh boy. Morning, Mew. Well, if it isn't flat chested Kayete, what do you and your pathetic tits want? I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. And I'll just pretend I didn't read that. I'll have a small favor to ask you, Mew. Right, Shuichi? Yeah, actually, something we want you to make. Counts the cameras and security sensors in the warehouse and, uh, you think you can make cameras that detect movement and take pictures? As in automatically take a picture and its motion sensor detect something? The hell are you going to use that for? To keep Monokuma under surveillance, might learn important information. Yeah, exactly that. Please, Mew, we need to help to get everyone out of here. Ah, uh, okay, I get it now. My answer is no. What? You plebs got a lot of nerve asking me for a favor. Were you grubs in a past life? Is that why you don't understand basic human courtesy? I'll forgive you just this once, so get out here before I whip out the bug spray. I don't know what to think of her right now. I don't think my body moved on its own. Kaede? Whoa! Please, Mew. Don't give her more ego, man. She seems like the person who feeds off that kind of stuff. I really want to get out of here with everyone. And to do that, I need your help. So, please. I'm begging you. We're resorting to begging now? Kaede. Seriously, him too? I'm begging you too. We could really use your help, Mew. Please? What the hell? Quit bowing to me. You seem like the person who get off that kind of stuff, so. No, I won't stop. I'm gonna stay like this until you say you'll do it, Mew. I'll do it for however long it takes. Until our knees break. Kaede and Shuichi. Okay. Yay! Really? My voice cracks. I'm sorry. I grasp Mew's hand. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I owe you. Even after we escape, I'll owe you forever and ever and ever. I'm not doing this for you guys. My research lab in the garden just opened up, so I was already thinking about checking it out. So can I have my hand back now? Because it's starting to creep me out. Oh, sorry. I was just so happy. But are your hands always this clammy? What? Anyway, bring the security sensors and cameras before I change my mind. I'll be waiting my research lab in the garden. Thank you, Mew. Mew wobbled at dining hall if she'd been thrown off balance. 
Thank God, I'm glad I managed to convince her. Go to the barrels to get the cameras and sensors right away. All right, let's do this. Things are going good. So we're like literally right across from it. So warehouse. This place is huge. I hope we can find all the things we're looking for. Don't worry, I know where the camera and sensors are. I'll go get them. You can wait here. Oh, are you sure? After you said that, Treach walked to the back of the warehouse. God put balls? There's a wooden box. Are these iron balls look like they're for shot put? I picked one up to see if it was heavy as it looked, and it was. As you like to hurl these things are pretty impressive. Kaede, what are you doing? Oh, Shuichi, you done already? Yeah, I got the cameras, and three should be enough. Um, Kaede, put that shot put ball down. Otherwise, we're contradicting what we said this entire time. We need to leave in peace. Disposal cameras, will these work? That's all they had, but they should work. It should be fine. There's also a photo developing solution here, so you don't have to worry about that. Well, if we're fine with them. Three cameras should be okay. Here's the security sensor. The sensor picks up movements. Triggers this receiver to make a sound. Get three of these as well. As huge as this warehouse is, and not expect to have security sensors in, shop in stock. Hmm. Oh, do you want me to carry the cameras? I can put them in my backpack. I'll have my music sheets and a spare vest. There's still lots of room inside. Alright, let's go talk to Mew. I took the three disposal cameras from Shibichi. I suddenly stopped. Wait, what? Kaede? These cameras really work? You need to take pictures of the master and persuade everyone? What will we do after that? Master could just smirk and order the exosels to attack everyone. Could we really protect everyone with this plan? Will we really be able to escape this place? Kaede? Something wrong? We need to go before Mew change their mind. Shuichi's are at the door of the warehouse waiting for me. Oh, sorry. I shoved the things I was holding in my backpack and ran after him. The shot put ball better not be one of them, Kaede. Better not be. Put that shot put ball down this instant. We are not resorting to murder. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go to Mew's lab. It's all in the courtyard. I mean the large building in the garden at the bottom of the stairs. Up until now, research labs have just been normal classrooms. That seems alright, doesn't it? Well, I didn't see the ultimate research lab. And I'm pretty sure I won't be able to see it right now because we're going to be advancing the story a bit. So, let's go see Mew. I'll probably check it out afterwards if you have time. Or maybe the next episode, who knows. Alright. Where in the world is that research lab? Right, right over there. That thing with the magnifying glass. At least I think so. Hey Kokichi, what's up? I guess that building over there is Mew's lab. I saw Mew run over there earlier, she was all sweaty and a total creeper smile. Oh, that building. Ultimate Inventor Lab. Knock knock. I have to knock the door. Violently swung open. You're freaking late. How dare you waste precious seconds of my time? It looks like she's back to normal. Well, don't keep my golden brain waiting. Like, give me what you got. Okay, it's just these, but I took out three cameras from my back and handed them to me. Disposable cameras? Are your disposable cameras too difficult to modify for you? Do you ask bird watchers that got know how to gawk at dumb birds? Of course I can do it. Piece of cake. Here are the security sensors. You want me to use these sensors to make these cameras take pictures automatically, right? I was thinking the camera could be triggered by the security sensor. And if the sensor detects movement, the receiver goes off and the shutter activates. That's how I'd like to work it, if possible. I heard that I whispered in the Tweetie's ear. What are you going to use that for? We want to set up on the moving bookcase. That we can keep watching anywhere as long as we have the receiver with us. If someone moves the bookcase, the receiver will let us know, right? The camera connected to the sensor will take a picture of whoever moved the bookcase. Oh, I see. Hey, what are you two whispering about? Nothing. I wrote down the details here. Two cameras, a built-in sen security sensor so that will take photos automatically. And a third camera will trigger the sensor to see where it takes a photo. How soon do you need these? Do you make them by tomorrow morning? Of course I can. You could tie me up and drip hot wax me. I'd still finish in time. With that bold declaration, Mew slammed the door in her faces. Did she feel some of her kinks to us? Uh, let's ignore that, please. 
Anyway, I think that's to do it. I think it's a way for me to finish. Alright, um, what's wrong? Nothing. I was thinking how amazing we're coming up with this plan for Shibichi. What? Honestly, in the first minute, I didn't think you'd be that reliable. But look at me now, relying on you like you're Sherlock Holmes or something. Ah, uh, yeah. We went our separate ways and returned to our rooms. Alright. Thailand expires at night time tomorrow. Today's my last chance to run around. You need to make sure I don't forget to do anything important. Alright. Next time, we are going to be seeing what happens, what co becomes of Shuichi and Kaede's plan. So, if you guys want to see the next episode as soon as possible, please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys!